One scratch in this rate. It came it came quite a bit earlier. Newt Lobel, the old timer, scratched. The uh, pacer was sick. 1A, fight the foe with Carmine Abatello. In tonight's feature race, the Tarport half open handicap, fight the foe with Carmine Abatello on the bike, an, elig an optional claiming price of $100,000. He's yours if you want to put it up. 2C is Tresca Decker with Joe Scorsone. 3D, perfect out. Doug Brown is on the bike. Number four, OTV lettery, my Bill Forward with Sonny Patterson, who closed very quickly last week in finishing second to number five OTB letter F Sophie's Adam Butch Doki the driver here's Jack with the call Darryl fight the foe and from the outside Sokey's Adam move out for the lead they're in the turn at the rail fight the foe leads it Sokey's Adam rushing up on the outside to challenge they move off the turn quickly and down the back stretch Sokey's Adam and Butch Doki have taken the lead fight the foe racing second trust Gadecka is third it's two lengths back the perfect out in the early trailer in this select five horse field is my bill forward they're at the quarter pole Sokey's Adam on top by an open length fight the foe second they reach the quarter in 30 and one moving on to the paddock turn the first time Sokey's Adam in command by a full length fight the foe second Tresca Decker third perfect out and my bill forward no change in position as they reach the top of the stretch. Sokey's Adam shows the way by a full length. That's fight the foe second. Tresca Decca is third. The gap of two back to perfect out and my Bill Ford can see them all. They're up a half mile in one, one, and two. Into the clubhouse turn the final time. Sokey's Adam shows the way a length and a half. Up the rail, fight the foe is second. Moving up on the outside in the third position now is a perfect out. They go down the back stretch, three eighths of a mile apace. Sokey's Adam, the best of it by a length and a half. Fight the foe, second perfect out is third up the rail. Tresca Decca and moving on the outside is my Bill Ford. They reach the three quarter pole. Sokey's Adam leads it by a full length. Up the rail, it's fight the foe. The three quarters and one, 31 and three. Around that final turn, Sokey's Adam leads it a length and a half. On the inside, fight the foe, second, perfect out, third, and moving to the far outside is my Bill Ford. They move through the stretch to the finish. Sokey's Adam needs it, fight the foe, trying to close. My Bill Ford on the far outside. It's Sokey's Adam and Butch Stokey to the wire in front. Under the wire, an easy victory for Sokey's Adam. Fight the foe second. My Bill forward third. A mile and two, one, and four over the good track. An easy victory for Sokey's Adam. And now back to Spencer Ross. <laughs> Easy indeed as Butch Doki did what he had to do. Get this four-year-old son of Albatross out to the lead, and he coasts home in 201 and 4 as number five OTB letter F. Sokey's Adam, owned by the Sokey Farm of Toronto, Canada. Butch Doki is the driver. 460, 260, $2.10. 1 A. Fight the foe was second, $3.210. And again, a fast close by My Bill Forward, but not enough as number four OTB letter E, My Bill Forward, returns $2.10. And Sokey's Adam with his third victory in five starts this year. Butch Doki, the driver. Stan Bergstein will talk to him trackside right now. The answer is that a good old horse cannot beat a good young horse. All other things, Jake. Well, this one's pretty tight now. And you had a joyride. Yeah, it was a little easy tonight. I was worried about fight to fall, really. Well, you, I knew you were worried about somebody. You kept looking back. Who were you looking for? I, I was looking for my Bill Ford and, and fight to fall. Well, they obviously couldn't get to you, and that last half and a minute and two-fifths sort of cooked the issue. Well, on a track like tonight, yes, it did. It just... uh, I want to ask you a question, uh, Merritt. Are they going to have to import somebody to beat this horse? It doesn't look like anybody here on the ground is going to do it. Well, you keep sending them out here off enough, they'll get beat. Well, it looks like they're going to either have to get somebody in to do it, or this horse is going to have to make a mistake somewhere along the line, because right now he's tight and ready, and that last half you just showed him looks like it's going to get the job done. Yeah, he's really good right now, this horse is, and he, he win quite handy, quick. Congratulations to Dale Emden, takes care of him, and we will be back with more action in the eighth race right after this message.